Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions at the Garden of Hope. It's another nice day so far. Lily's friend Annie needs prayer for stage 4 cancer. My sister-in-law Angel has been in the hospital and they don't know what the problem is yet. Crystal and her family need prayers. Tweets and her family need prayer, and she has a toothache also. Happy Life Stepfather had bypass surgery. Let's see, Thursday. Terry needs prayer for having a rough time financially. This prudent gal's nephew and his family need prayer. His mother lost her battle with cancer a few nights ago. Norma's son is very sick, and Norma's uncle got word that he only has a couple days to live. He has pancreatic cancer. Laura Lee, everything went well at the doctor. That's good. And pray for mom, Mommy and Kimberly's adventure sister, Marcella, and her two daughters, Isabel and Alexis. They lost their father, and they're very depressed. And I believe that's her brother, too, so pray for, for her, too. Sarah's having problems with her throat, and let's pray that it's not a tumor. She has many tumors. And she's just a, a little girl. I mean, I think she's like 15, maybe. So she shouldn't have to go through all that, Lord. Joy Stewart's test results should be in on Monday the 24th. Sherm's arm is really causing him a lot of pain. He's had all kinds of problems here lately. Let's hope that he gets better. It's a little cloudy out here, but it doesn't really look like rain clouds. Okay. Our Bible reading for today comes from uh, Isaiah 44, 1 through 5. But now listen, Jacob, my servant, servant Israel, whom I have chosen. This is what the Lord says, he who made you, who formed you in the womb, and who will help you. Do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant. Jesurin, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring and my blessings on your descendants. They will spring up like grass in a meadow, like poplar trees by flowing streams. Some will say, I belong to the Lord, others will call themselves by the name of Jacob. So others will write on their hand the Lord's, the Lord's, and it will take the name Israel. Okay. Today our devotional is entitled Belonging. I'd been out late the night before just as I was every Saturday night. Just 20 years old, I was running from God as fast as I could. But suddenly, strangely, I felt compelled to attend the church my dad pastored. I put on my faded jeans, well-worn t-shirt, and unlaced high tops and drove across town. I don't recall the sermon dad preached that day, but I can't forget how delighted he was to see me. With his arm over my shoulder, he introduced me to everyone he saw. This is my son, he proudly declared. His joy became a picture of God's love that has stuck with me all these decades. The imaginary, the imagery of God as loving Father occurs throughout the Bible. In Isaiah 44, the prophet interrupts a series of warnings to proclaim God's message of family love. Dear Israel, my chosen one, he said, I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessing on your children. Isaiah noted how the response of those descendants would demonstrate family pride. Some will proudly claim, I belong to the Lord, he wrote. Some will write the Lord's name on their hands. Wayward Israel belonged to God, but 
just as I belong to my adoptive father. Nothing I could do ever make him lose his love for me. He gave me a glimpse of our Heavenly Father's love for us. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. Please help them with each, all their problems and help anybody else out there that needs help. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll see you later on.